place of beauty with an undercurrent of division. Some Catholic parishioners are struggling with what they say has been a sudden return to the church of the 1950s and 60s. Some people have decided not to bother coming to church. Now, that's not an acceptable situation at all. I don't feel that I'm welcome there anymore. There's a lot of disharmony amongst the older conservatives in our parish and well, what would you say, the up-to-date thinkers? A new parish priest, Father Warren Edwards, arrived last year. Since his appointment, the parish has become divided between those who favour the more traditionalist approach adopted by Father Edwards and those who don't. The Second Vatican Council in the 1960s brought the church into the modern world. Mainstream Catholics generally accept the changes that came from it and are sometimes referred to as modernists. So-called traditionalist Catholics oppose the modernisation of the church. It's a movement that's gaining traction with younger churchgoers. The split is affecting the church around the world. These Hue and Valley parishioners want to heal the rift in their community. They say Tasmania's Archbishop, Julian Porteous, hasn't responded to their requests for help. I would like to see an independent person um, without any bias to either side to come and be at mediate somehow. Father Edwards declined to be interviewed, but he's told his congregation there are divisions and hostility within the church. He says the church shouldn't conform to the world or return to times past. He says he's with the church of the present. I come with the simple desire. Archbishop Porteous also declined to be interviewed, but he's written a book about the future of the church in Australia. He says a new generation of devout Catholics is rising up, which is a source of hope. He says the church may become smaller and less prominent, but it will be purer, humbler and more faithful. There are concerns Archbishop Porteous is favouring more traditional practices. The situation in the Huon Valley follows unrest in the Meander Valley Parish in Tasmania's north two years ago, which resulted in a traditionalist priest being removed from his post within two months. We need the Archbishop to be aware of the damage that can be caused uh, within those communities and help healing those communities. A warning to church leaders. Loretta Loberger, ABC News.